Hey, how's it? Today we're making the Fibonacci function using Python. We're going to implement the function using an iterative approach and a recursive approach. At the end, we'll refine our recursive approach using memoization. Let's begin. For our iterative version, we start by defining our function. We're taking in parameter n for which our function will return the nth Fibonacci number. So if we input 5, then we should get 3, which is the fifth Fibonacci number. Let's store our initial values 0 and 1 in the variables a and b. We know that if our function takes in 1, we need to return 0. And if we take in 2, we need to return 1. So let's create a condition. Now if n is equals to 1, we return 0. And since we have 1 for the second and third number, we can just return 1. So if n equals to 2 or n equals to 3, then we just return 1. Now for every other n, so for i in range n, we set a new variable c and assign it the value a plus b. We shift a and assign it a new value b. After that, we assign c to b and return c. Let's use a for loop to call our Fibonacci function and generate the first 10 numbers. Now, for our recursive approach, we need to call our recursive function with arguments n-1 and n-2 within our function since Fibonacci n is equal to Fibonacci n-1 plus Fibonacci n-2. We'll now store the result and finally return the result. Lastly, let's refine our recursive function because it's still not very efficient, especially for larger numbers of n. The method we'll use is called memoization because it saves time by remembering and reusing results from previous calculations so it doesn't have to repeat them. We'll start by adding a default empty dictionary parameter to our function. After that, we'll check if we already calculated the number and return its value if true. Now let's modify our code and store our return values in result and add another condition so else if n is bigger than 3 then we store the recursive calculations in result then finally we just store the result in our dictionary and return the result so now our recursive function works better for larger values of n as well there's many ways to implement the Fibonacci function in Python leave a like if this helps and I'll see you next time